Yeah, there are uh, many ways how to beat these exams. We know it is a necessary evil of the modern education system. We can't escape that. So, when we can't escape a situation, better to plan how to deal with it. I would definitely advise students not to take to intoxicants, smoking and other things to keep awake in the night to prepare for the exams. It is better to sleep early, have a good night's rest, keep active, be doing a physical exercises regularly and maybe I could suggest yoga or meditation. Spend few times with in the morning, few minutes in the morning and evening with yourself. Plunge deep into your interior and you get a lot of solace and strength from within. And try to keep good company. And they say early to bed and early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy and wise. So that way we plan, we do our study regularly. I don't think exam is really going to be a big stress. Generally, exam stress comes to students. At least in my experience, when I've talked to a lot of students who have undergone exam stress, when I ask them what really is the factor that causes you stress, I'm surprised to hear the answer that it's not failure in the exams which is causing me or which is, uh, you know, which, for which I'm anticipating the stress. But what will happen if I fail? You know, the social ramifications of a failure. Okay, if I fail, my dad won't be able to hold his head high in front of his neighbors or my, uh, my mom will feel humiliated in front of her peers. I won't be able to uh, match up to my uh, neighbor X, Y, Z and so and so. and uh, I won't be able to get admission to the best colleges. So I think there is a, a loss of perspective here. And uh, what we have to really tell the students is, don't worry about the consequences. I think preparation is, is the one in your control. Too often we worry about factors which are not in our control. For any exam, particularly for a public exam, there are a lot of factors, you know, variations which are not in our control. It might be evaluated by multiple examiners. If our paper goes to some examiner who is not, uh, who is known to be a very tough person or not very lenient, we might get a few marks this way and that way less. But rather than worrying about those factors which are not in our hands, the students should be focused on preparation, on good preparation, planning it out. Time to, okay, how much time do I have left? What are the topics I have to finish? How much should I work in a day? Uh, what activities do I have for recreation? Because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So I think good preparation, good planning, timetabling, talking with successful persons before, that's very important because you talk to successful people and you get their tips on how to plan and prepare well. I think the single most important aspect is preparation. If that can be done properly and then if the, stu if the, the candidate can be told that no matter what you do, the family still loves you, the family still is there for you, nothing, the sky is not going to fall down if you don't get a 100% mark in this exam, then I think that will give a lot of confidence to the person to perform better rather than you know continuously performing as if there is a democle sword hanging over somebody's head uh, which uh, is ready to fall any time if I get low marks. If the students can be told this much, I think uh, what the students have told me is that if that kind of a confidence can be given, we can always perform better. So these are some things that really need to be looked at. So if they are studying throughout the year, they will not be very much stressed at the time of the exam. The last minute studying actually causes a lot of stress. So uh, my advice will be what I have done in my college days, uh, read throughout the year and read with understanding and read not just for the sake of exams, but read for the sake of knowledge for understanding and enjoying the reading to, to when we enjoy the subject, uh, exams will not be very stressful and last minute reading reading definitely not and students should always be uh, taught in addition to the subject uh, in the schools and colleges about meditation and yoga these uh, physical some physical exercises actually do help control the mind and meditation actually helps in concentration so when they study they will be able to concentrate more and they will be able to uh, gain more from lesser amount of uh, effort if they are in the habit of meditation and they are able to perform better in the exams even during the exams when a uh, lot of students get stressed and they black out they are not able to answer not able to write all these things can be avoided if they are regularly into meditation which will help focus their minds and even at the time of exams while writing they will be able to uh, maintain their uh, stability and write what they know
there are diff different students prepare differently. So, uh, but when they stay in a hostel, all the students are doing the last minute preparations, staying awake whole night, reading. That causes a lot of stress to others who cannot do this. So, a hostel sometimes is not a very ideal uh, condition for uh, exams. So, students should be relaxed. If they can study at home or whichever uh, setting they are comfortable in, need not stay in the hostel and uh, compare themselves with other students.